All right, voice is feeling a little better today. Technology has truly changed the world for the better and for the worse. Practically all information is available right at your fingertips. But that also includes misinformation. We can occupy our time all day with a single piece of technology, but at the sacrifice, seemingly, of our humanity in that we become antisocial to a point. Enough preaching. This isn't a lecture on giving up technology. This is about inconvenience. Why is it that technology decides to go as slow as humanly possible? And I know what I said there. That's the point. When you need it most to function properly. It's as if tech becomes one of us when it's time to get a task done and wants to be lazy and go slow. No, get to the point. And it's ironic that we get mad about that. It's almost as if whatever technology you're using has a will of its own to sabotage you. I've got receipts too. You ever get into an online argument and it's getting heated? So you're ready to bring the fire or the rain, whatever you please. The person on the other end is insulting you personally, presenting misinformation, and worst of all, has ignorant sheep agreeing with them on every point. They're thumbing them up, thumbing you down, replying to them without even knowing why they're uh, sucking them off like the sheep they are. Replying to you with clown emojis and broken language insults. I've been around the block, everyone. You really can't fix stupid. Back to the point. And now, what does your computer or phone or any piece of tech you're using decide to do in its supporting of you? It refuses to load the page. All the while, you're losing steam and your drive to slaughter this clown on the other end. Maybe Wi-Fi is to blame. I don't know. So it finally loads up. You write out the verbal cremation of your opponent. Just to have the comment deleted for some BS reason. And you didn't even copy it beforehand. I'm looking at you, Instagram. I can't tell you how many times that's happened to me. Or how about when you can't reply to a fool because their original post can't be found by the app? That happened to me just last night. Maybe they blocked you. Who knows? And who cares? It's easier to argue with a wall for being immobile than it is to argue with a fool. Who's wrong? It took me too long to realize this too. Don't sink to their level. Remember that comment from last night I just mentioned? I'm over it. No need beating a dead horse anyway. Oh, and regarding slow technology at the worst times, it's all in your mind. Why not take that drive to reply and waste away a valuable time on something you won't remember down the line anyway? And feed it into what it is you want in life. You'd be wealthy and at peace already if you did. I would too. Put that infuriating technology down anyway. And get some real experience in the real world. Nothing to lose. Everything and more to gain. This has been TCJ and thank you.